Okay, so once you download the template, the first thing you want to do is open up that folder. You need to extract it first and then open the folder. And inside that folder, you will see the font file. Just double click on that to open that up. And there you will find a link. Just click on that link. That link will take you to this web page where you can download the font. So just go ahead and download the entire font family. Install this font on your system and then open up the project. If you don't do this step, then chances are you won't be able to use this template. Then what you want to do is open up DaVinci Resolve. And once you are on this page where you create a new project, we'll just right click on the empty space and click on restore project archive. And you just have to find the same folder where you extracted the project. In my case, it's in the desktop. Stop intro, double click on that. And then you should see a file with a .dra extension. Just select that and click on open. And just wait for a while and you can see the project over there. Double click on that to open that up inside DaVinci Resolve. So uh, there you go. If you are not in the edit page already, then just make sure you click on the edit page over here at the bottom. And you should see your project over here. Now this project has four different versions. So the one that is currently open is what you saw in the preview. And there is a version with a blurred background as you can see. Uh, and then there is another version without any effects or any blur applied to it. And the last one is the flat version which doesn't have any images or effects, just simple um, colors as the background. So let me just demonstrate you how it will look. You can see in the master, if you expand that, you can see different uh, folders over here or different bins over here. We'll just go inside the image placeholders bin, double click on that and you can see image placeholder one, double click on that and that should open up a timeline as you can see. If it's not visible, then make sure you click on this icon that says timeline view options. Click on that and make sure you select the very first option that says stack timelines chances are it will look like this on your machine so just make sure you click on this icon and then click on the very first icon then you will be able to see the uh, stacked timeline view so i've created this template in such a way that you don't need to go into the fusion page to drag and drop your images you can do that all inside the edit page itself let me just quickly show you how you can use your images so i'm going to just import an image drag it and just put it inside the images folder that is already created inside the project so that your project is neatly organized. So here I have the image. If I click on that or double click on that, you can see how the image looks. I'm just going to simply drag and drop it on top of this uh, video track we have over here. And that will replace that footage. And just make sure that you zoom in to the image so that you don't have any of these black bars once you do that you can close out of this and if you go to your main timeline over here you can see the image will be placed inside the uh, template so if you go into the main uh, with the blur the main comp with the blur you can see that the blur will be applied on it if you go to main clear uh, then you can see that there will be no effects applied on it it will be a simple image without any blur or effects applied to it the flat one doesn't have any image so you don't have to worry about that for the image. So yeah, if you go inside the main timeline over here, if you click on the image, you can go in the inspector, you can see the effects. I have applied this effect called a color compressor on it. You can just toggle it on and off and see how that looks. So I tried to create sort of a dual tone effect. And this is the closest that I got. I found this effect to be the closest to it. So I'm just going to use color compressor and you can just basically choose any color from the window over here. So let's just try and change the color over here. Let's go with a blue color and click on OK. You can see that it doesn't immediately work right now because we need to change some settings over here. For example, you can change the hue and you can change the luminance. You can play around with these settings and create a nice looking effect out of it. Um, so that's how I was able to achieve this effect. So let me just undo this and now we'll just uh, see how to change the text. So for that again we have the text placeholders over here. Click on that and we have text 01. Double click on that and on the right side in the inspector you can see you have the text typed out over here. You can change it with anything that you want. So uh, let's say stomp intro. Right, so let's go back to our main animation and you can see the text will be updated in the final animation. So you have to do this, you have to change the text and the 
image in every placeholder that you see over here and once you are done then you can simply render out your animation by going into the deliver tab so if you really like this project you can find the download link in the description and as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one